We didn't show you all of yesterday's interview with President Trump. During our sit-down, we also asked him how he keeps busy after the day is done. Here's what he said. What do you do at the end of the day? What do you, what do you read? What do you watch? Well, you know, I love to read. Actually, I'm looking at a book. I'm reading a book. I'm trying to get started. Every time I do about a half a page, I get a phone call that there's some emergency, this or that. Uh, but we're going to see the home of Andrew Jackson today in Tennessee, and I'm reading a book on Andrew Jackson. Uh, I, I love to read. I don't get to read very much, Chuck, because I'm working very hard on lots of dif different things, including getting costs down. The costs of our country are out of control. But we have a lot of great things happening. We have a, a lot of tremendous things happening. And remember this. When I came into this job, I inherited a mess. It was a mess in the Middle East. Whether you like it or not, the economy was very, very weak. You look at the 96 million people. You look at all of these people. Now, I have good work numbers. I have very good work numbers, you know, employment numbers, unemployment numbers. And so they say 4.6, 4.7, and I'm supposed to take a bow. But they're not really the numbers because you have people that want jobs that have given up looking for jobs. And when you start adding those numbers onto your numbers, it's not, it's not really reflective of where I see. Those are the people, a lot of those people are the people that got me elected. They elected me. And I'm going to take care of those people. I'm here today because we're going to be opening up automobile plants in Michigan and Ohio and places that Pennsylvania, places where the plants have left, and not just automobiles, places where the plants have been stripped out of our country. The jobs have been absolutely destroyed by, I could say, stupid management. I could say politicians that didn't know what they were doing. Plants have moved to Mexico. You look at what's happened in Mexico. It's the eighth wonder of the world in terms of plants in terms of what's happening with automobiles. It's going to stop. Now, hopefully we'll get along with Mexico. We're going to see what happens. But I will tell you, we cannot continue to close plants in Michigan and have them move to Mexico. Now, since I was president-elect, the word is out. You want to open a plant in Mexico, that's fine. But you're going to pay a very big import tax if you're going to bring that car back into this country. And you know what? Ford, General Motors, Fiat, so many others that we're going to see in a little while, they're not moving anymore. They're not going to be moving anymore. And I had my actual highest poll numbers today. You just saw that. It yeah. just came out. Because people see I'm working for them. Now, go back to your tax thing. I want to start that so badly because it's unfair. I paid a lot of tax. I paid $38 million in tax for that year where it was illegally given out. Okay? I paid $38 million. But honestly, the percentage is a lower percentage it's a lot of money, $38 million, but that's a lower percentage than somebody that's working in a factory someplace, and that should not be.